thank you for clicking on the video. As expected, and like I said on Monday in the most recent video I made regarding how I couldn't find a single article worth commenting on in the news that wasn't all about the Vegas shooting, well, today, three days later, it's no different. Even though precious souls were lost and hundreds were wounded, the mainstream media is still milking that ratings cash cow for all it's worth, and the Hollywood actors, who anyone with common sense knows are literally bought and paid for professional liars, they're now chiming in to do all they can to make things much worse for the common man by demanding stiffer gun control laws. Everyone in Chicago, which has the most stringent gun laws in the nation, knows it's all a farce. And no, I'm not being sarcastic when I say Hollywood actors are professional liars. That is the truest definition of a Hollywood actor known to exist. I mean, seriously, everyone knows Sylvester Stallone isn't a Green Beret-type drifter who shoots up bad cops in every small town he drifts into each weekend, and Arnold Schwarzenegger is not actually a robot wrapped in human flesh from the future. This article that is filled with tweets from Hollywood celebrities, who, by the way, are doing all this because the politicians fear another landslide failure in 2018, all this is nothing more than political propaganda hell-bent on creating an unarmed socialistic format in America under direct orders of the father of corrupt politics and the political god of every high-ranking politician in the world. And yes, I am speaking of the man of sin in Rome, the Pope himself. But what gets me the most annoyed by all the back and forth in the media that is packed with bold-faced lies via Hollywood is how they can literally make people that worship celebrities believe the lies they spew are actually truth, simply because some multi-millionaire actor says so. Well, take, for example, how the hypocrites in Hollywood make excuses when confronted by people concerned about all the gun violence in the movies and the fact they keep making the most bloodiest movies known to man. These actors claim such movies have no impact on society whatsoever and cannot be the reason violent crimes have increased. Common sense dictates if they had no impact on society, as they claim, they wouldn't be making billions of dollars each year with these movies. For them to say that guns and violence in their movies don't influence crazed people who actually shoot and kill their neighbors is like saying porn doesn't make perverted people want to have sex with their neighbors. I mean, the basic truth in all this is they do in fact have an impact on everyone from the little child that kills a sibling to the angry grandmother that kills a grandchild, and they know it. But because they are so good at lying, hence the reason Satan grants them the riches, they not only get paid to lie even more to cover their blood-stained tracks, those that worship them are further manipulated into fashioning their own lives to depict the celebrity they worship. You know, besides the violence they foster, the, the fact people spend billions each year to buy clothing that makes them look like their favorite celebrity, or cut their hair to match their favorite movie or rock star, or, or even drive a certain model car they saw used in some film proves... They're lying through their teeth in Hollywood. And if they lie once, well, they're simply going to lie again because it works. I mean, after all, it's what they're getting paid for. Now, do you see why most Christians and just about everyone in the obedient remnant church have stopped watching TVs or going to the movies or listening to worldly music and obviously stop buying all the violent video games? When you have eyes that see, all the lies in the world cannot hide the fact that as it was in Noah's day, it is today. And so the lies will, for the most part, be believed by those who prefer them as their comfort zone, because that's what they've known their whole life. And so they're used to that. But the small number that follow the Lord Jesus Christ will not only believe the truth, they will be ready to receive him as king and savior on that great and dreadful day he returns, because... They know clamoring after worldly things only gets them ready to die with the world. And if you seek the better walk in Christ, as does his obedient bride, then read Philippians 4, verses 7 and 9, which says, The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever the things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be in you. If you accept the Lord as your king and do as this passage suggests is best for those seeking to prepare themselves for the coming of the Lord, then you will be found in that number that has been prophesied to be prepared for the coming of the Lord. 
Thank you for watching. God bless.